Welcome to True You, where we'll talk about becoming the truest version of who God created you to be. I'm your host and the co-author of Lies Young Women Believe and the Truth That Sets Them Free, Dana Gresh. Did you know that there's a direct correlation between the advent of social media and rapid growth in anxiety and depression? Is it time for you to screen your time? Here at the round table of True You, no topic is off limits. I'm Stacy Rudolph, lead teacher at True You, and today we are gonna hit a topic that most of the world is struggling with right now, social media consumption. I don't think we realize just how long we spend looking at screens. Check out Danielle's story. Hello everyone, I'm Danielle, and I'm gonna talk to you about how I struggled with binging everything from social media to television, to movies, and so forth and so on. And I think one of the biggest lies I caught myself believing was that if I numbed my real world problems with the fantasies and fiction and highlight reels of all of those things that eventually my life would somehow turn out to be a dream fantasy land too and that I could get lost in them even if it was just for an hour, half an hour, two hours, three hours, however much at a time. But I want to let you know that there is truth that fights that lie and that speaks against it and that you can find that truth like I did. Danielle talks about the lie that she could numb her pain mm -hmm. with the screen. Have you believed any lies when you pick up your little phone to scroll? For sure. I think a lot of time I depend on the people that are commenting or the likes to tell me what I'm worth, which is oh. totally not true. Um, but I think yeah. it's easier to do that now that I've got the following that I have. And I think that with that comes also a lot of anxiety too mm -hmm. around what do people want me to post? Yeah. What should I do? Like, yeah, so. expectations. I yeah. I think we try to distract ourselves a lot too. Like I think for a lot of people, it's just so much going on in life that you just want to escape. You just want to shut it down. So we do that. Yeah, yeah, literally. I'll clean my bedroom later. I'll yeah. make my bed <laughs> after I check out Instagram. And you just scroll in. Yeah. And you think it's five minutes. You look up. It's like 45 minutes, exactly. an hour. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. One of the things I have learned is that I have to put the throne of God before the phone of Dana. Oh, wow. <laughs> the throne before the phone, because if I don't yeah. do that, it is 45 minutes, and yeah. then I'm like, I don't have time to spend time with God. Yeah. And then I, I do, have you ever felt anxiety or depression when you're overwhelmed with your phone? Yes, I think that when my screen time is really high, that's when I'm not in touch with my emotions, not in touch with God. Mm -hmm. um, and it's when I'm intentionally like putting the phone away, spending time with people, putting the phone away, spending time in the Word, that I'm probably my most healthiest self. Is there like a specific verse like they got? Yes, show you a truth I love for James 4.14, which says, Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Mm -hmm. And I love that verse because it just sets aside all of the anxiety, everything that comes with social media, and just in yeah. light of eternity, it does not matter. You know, yeah. that makes me think about something. If we are a vapor, right? And mm -hmm. this is just a short period of time. We have to use it so well. Yeah. How much time a week, here it comes, do dun, you dun, dun. spend on social media? <laughs> do you have, I have some like stats, but what do you think mm -hmm. it is for you, an average? It or depends a day. on the week, like what I'm doing. A lot of times I have to work through social media as well. So if I'm working, which is like four of the seven hours that I'll have, yeah. um, then it'll be seven hours. But if I'm just vegging out, it'll probably be like five hours mm -hmm. a day. Yeah. It's wow. Bad. What about you? Um, I've gotten better, probably about maybe an hour, an oh hour and a half. Oh my gosh, I, just, <laughs> I, was, really I did not used to yeah. be but there. No comparison, no comparison. Yeah, I did not used to be there. Yeah. But here's the thing, um, research suggests that what we spend about 20 hours a week on is not only evidence of our priority, mm -hmm. but evidence of what we will excel at and become really influential in. Mm -hmm. So at five hours a day, that's definitely 20 hours a week. Uh, you're really low, because I think I'm probably clocking in about two and a half to three and a half hours a day. It took me a while a to get day. there, though. Like, I used to be pretty bad, and I think I just got upset with it. Like, you are the standard. It's not going to steal my time anymore. You know what I'm saying? I get down to an hour. <laughs> like, but the question we need to ask ourselves is, is what I want to excel at, is where I want to be an influence, my screen, hmm. my social media, my news feed, my YouTube? Uh, what? 
what would you like to spend that time on? What would you like to excel at? What would you like to be an influencer? I think one thing that I really want to get good at is reading the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. I am terrible at that. Um, and I think that a lot of times I'll open it and then just pull up my phone because I don't get it. It's long. I don't understand the God that of the Old Testament. That is not what I expected you to say. Oh, really? What about reading the Old Testament? That's cool. Yeah, That's that awesome. Good, though. What about you? Um, I guess kind of the same. Just like diving into all the scripture, I feel like as church we usually stay in the new testament but my goal has been to read the bible the whole way through and i always stop at like second kings mm -hmm. and then months go by and i'm like start again yeah. so it's like i just can't make it but i would like to be able to yeah. know all of the word and have been through it once i would like to love people well oh. mm -hmm. and i don't know that i love them best through a screen i think i love them best in uh, have you ever been around a table and everybody's like in you're with real oh, flesh God. and blood people and everyone's in their phone yeah. i want to yeah. love people well what do you want to do with your 20 hours that you can use this week to be an influencer and to excel? We encourage you guys to just screen your time, like see how you're using it. Our time is a gift from God, so we want to make sure that we give it back to him. And we're not saying that it's wrong to just have some leisure time just scrolling and having a bit of fun on social media. But we really want you to look deep into how you're spending the majority of your time. Because if you give it to Christ, if you dig into his word, that's going to bring you the most fulfilling life and help you to be truly you. If you enjoyed today's conversation, we invite you to join us online for deeper discussion at liesyoungwomenbelieve.com. We'd also love for you to send us your one-minute video freedom story. Get all the details on the website. And thank you for joining us today. Till next time.